This is probably something that many E4 players will recognize. Is the ridiculous border placement. I mean, there's loads of room down here. There's much better room down here. Why make it so ugly to put it here? It makes absolutely no sense at all. Alright, things are looking peaceful again. Timurids are taking care of their rebel problems. Very good. Uzbek has rivaled me. It's probably not good. <laughs> it's a good thing that I'm allied to the Timurids right here. Otherwise, I would have been evaded long before this. Let's see. Armani, they want an ally. No, me. Definitely not. Let's see. Who's, who's willing to ally me here? Yeah? No guy, perhaps? Be good if I had another ally. At minus 19, if I improve relations with them, there's a good chance they'll turn out to be friendly with me. What about this particular piece of kebab? I need to get closer, but the only way to get there is through Uzbek, no guy, Kazan, then down here. We just got straight through the Ottomans, which is not a likely scenario. Divided. So this is a target that we want to attack soon, but they are under attack by Khan. This right here, I don't know why they are at war with these guys, but they definitely did not get to take the land. And we still have the East, sorry Kyogi guys, allied with Kevin Patel. And what we can do, we can we can vassalize these guys and then use them as a vassal to feed all these calls down here which are of their religion, so that's probably helpful. Do we want to declare war straight away? They have no army. They do, so let's march our army over here and then they can warn them. Come on, up, up and at it. Blasphemy, a prominent and outspoken government official, recently transferred home from the diplomatic corps. Seems to have spent a little too much of his time abroad. He has returned to Urumki with some controversial ideas. Now to interpret the words of the prophet. And needless to say, this has provoked a lot of ire amongst the clergy. Several imams have declared the official a blasphemer and de demand immediate action from the government. Option 1, burn him at the stakes, 25 piety, puts either losing, presti losing prestige and losing piety versus gaining prestige and losing diplomatic power. And we're at Prestige 10, and I think we're fine right there, so... <coughs> right there, let's put it on speed 3, declare one these guys. <laughs> Not even gonna... Yeah, because... Oh. Yeah, I'm right with Caratel. But then I did for the siege. And they won't join in. Anyway. <laughs> I'll make a note in my personal notebook not to ally ally these guys. I hate people who don't show up for alliances. <laughs> Alright boys, up up and ahead. We're attacking them in the desert, I don't foresee any problems there. I'm stabbing each other with the bike. Let's go stack by stack by them, shall we? Like a good old pressure. No, we're not. We should check it out. We're the sons of the great king is gone. Hmm. 
Alright, let's get a good general with one siege, so it takes a little bit less time. <laughs> We're getting so much boss go on, we can stack fighting just little stacks from a thousand men. Look at it. Already at 14% wolf, and all we've done is occupy the provinces, slay their men, pillage their villages, and, and rape their women. <laughs> Sorry, I tend to get a bit dragged away when discussing obliterating my enemies. Let's see it. Sorry, Yogi. <laughs> Don't want to be at war, quite frankly. Medium war exhaustion. <laughs> Near the Yemen of 1450, very unstable. What have we here? Oh, they just <laughs> they tell you into a, a little to be forgotten state. Look at this, we're already at zero percent. In the siege modifier. One thing I can tell you is having even this, this general has one siege, right? There you see it, one siege. It helps tremendously when sieging a fort. When when you when you don't have one. If you if you, if you don't have an act. Uh, as any siege modifiers, it's gonna take way longer time. And it doesn't really matter if you have a level 1 fort that you're sieging, but if you're up in the later stages of the game and encounter level 4, 5, 6 forts, then it's gonna be much harder without anything. Alright, these guys, my vassals, they're very disloyal. <laughs> Calm. We have absolutely no gas as well against them. Which is a shame. What about Utsan? No. We're gonna have to conquer Ladakh in order to get to them. Let's get these guys into a place where they won't catch attrition. And let's see it. No guy. And war with the Golden Horde. While having tremendous amounts of rebels. And <laughs> they won't even ally me. Wow. Let's see, Uzbek, could they rival me? Let's see a big rival, so big the army up. You know, let's keep this rolling at speed three. Uh, so we have Uzbek. Uzbek, let's see where they are. Right here. <laughs> I have 18,000 men. We have 6k manpower. We have 10,000 10, cavalry and 8,000 infantry. That's very rare to see. Yeah, then again, they are step forward, so cavalry get a bonus most of the time. Alright, they just uh, have the 12k right here. That would be weird. That would be very weird indeed. Alright. They actually have only 12 days. We could probably take them out if we have any allies to help us. We have Mongolia as their vassal. And we have the mighty Sarek Yogi with no army at all. <laughs> so. These guys won't join us. Moriata, are they willing to ally? Nope, 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 none of them. The Timurids are willing to ally us and they won't join us in this war. So I think what we're gonna do here is wait for these guys to man up. Start fabricating some claims on calm. 
Oh, well. Uh, not the effect. I fabricated the planes on calm. And then uh, the picking from there. Bump it up a notch. And it's 12,000. Nice Mongolia. Mongolia is 6,000, so they have a total of 18,000. This is mostly infantry on Mongolia's part. And they have a lot of mountains. So I think what we could do here is just take our amazing one siege general, gather 10,000 more troops, <laughs> and then siege on them, siege all the land. So our force limit is 12. I don't think we want to build up that just now. Actually, what we can do is get 12 troops, take the army. Take the military technology, which gives us plus 25% plus 25% <laughs> military tactics. That would be something. We go from zero to Prussia in zero seconds. Mm, military tactics, military tactics plus 0 0.25, and then we can probably take them on. Let's see if put this in. A fast and pace. Meanwhile, Yarkand.